All right, Anthony F here. Excuse my fan. It is hot in Philly. Um, so I broke down and on Amazon bought an unbranded Best Buy Windows 8.1 tablet. Uh, it's called Unbranded because that's the actual company name that Best Buy worked with. So um, it's heavy. It's thick. Um, I will lift it up and show you right now. But if you notice, it's trying to charge. And this tablet is like a baby sleeping. You don't want to bother it while it's charging because you technically can't even use it until it is finished charging. Um, that is very weird and wild. It has a micro uh, USB connection like the standard Android phones. Uh, you use that to charge it and when it's on you connect an OTG to that to use a keyboard and a mouse. Um, OTG basically means um, you can it's a connector from a small micro USB to a regular size USB for regular things. Uh, since this is the full blown version of Windows 8, you can actually connect a printer to it too, which is kind of cool. Um, I like the fact that it's full blown. It's not RT. It's not runtime. It's not whatever RT means. They actually never told us. Uh, it's not the mobile version. It's a full blown version of Windows. So I installed regular programs on it, regular software. Yes, that is true. Full-blown programs on this 10.1-inch tablet. Widescreen. Um, I actually went to Five and Below to buy a universal uh, cover for it because Five and Below is famous for good covers at five dollars, you know, or below. Uh, but no, it did not fit. Um, this is really a widescreen, a 10.9, maybe, as opposed to the 4x3 square rectangle screen that is uh, the iPad and the regular Android devices. This is a longer screen because of its 10 inch widescreen um, dimensions. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so I've managed to put Eclipse on there, the Java program. I also easily put Android Studio on there and basically anything else that I wanted, LibreOffice, you know, you could put any regular program on this tablet and it's great. Um, the keyboards are pretty good too, the built-in soft keyboard. Um, you can change the style. Uh, you can use it like a, a mobile keyboard where it's big keys. Um, you have to press the button and go from uh, signs and symbols to regular letters. Um, you can set it so that it has a regular full-length keyboard with the numbers up top. And you can also set it so that it's ergonomic, meaning uh, it's split in half for the left and the right hand. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll do, of course, more video once it charges. Uh, it takes a long time to charge, um, basically a good six hours to charge it up. But crazy enough, it lasts six hours. I've used this internet video programs, and uh, it lasts about six hours. So it just died on me now. I picked it up, or rather I unplugged it and cut it on around 11.30, 11.15 today. So it's 9 o'clock now. Uh, that's a long time. That is om almost over 10 hours worth of uh, work there on a mobile tablet with Windows on it. So I'm really impressed. So this is the unbranded Windows 8.1 tablet, 10.1 that was on Amazon. Oh yeah. The kicker, I paid $60 for it because I bought it used. Um, it has no scratches. It's in perfect condition. Only problem is that many folks don't, don't know how to use it. They don't understand it. Um, the power button, some say, triggers itself off and on. I don't believe that's the case. It, it, or rather, I've got a workaround for it. Um, what you do basically is um, set the power button inside the settings for power off. Um, if you wanted to go to sleep, go to the software version, slide from the right, and you click on the power icon and click sleep, and it'll sleep. That's fine. If you want to wake it up, you hit the power button in that sense. But normally you want the power button to be just the power off. That way, when you're done with it and you're really done with it, you want the charge, you power it off. Let it shut down. Once it is fully shut down, plug in the wire, and then it'll, it will charge up. Do not keep the wire in while it was on. Because if you try to shut it down then, it comes back on. Really annoying. Take some coordination. 
but basically for the most part if you shut the tablet down without it being plugged in and once it goes down and you see like the light flash the red light then you plug it in then you get the steady red light showing that it is charging alright expect more videos Anthony F see ya